What's up YouTube? Back at it again today. As you can see, I still do not have my heads back from the machine shop. So we're gonna start doing some actual work on the beetle. First thing is gonna be get making this rear valence, rear apron removable. So what I'm gonna have to do is remove both the fenders, um, you know, drill out some spot welds. I think there's a, maybe one or two seam-ish type welds. And then we should be able to pop it off pretty easy. Then we'll have to figure out a way to make it, um, you know, reinstall cleanly and also still be easier to remove every time so that when I go to put in the new engine, um, it'll be much easier taking it in and out, do some work on it, you know. So we're gonna start with the driver's side fender here. As you can see, there's a couple, let's see if I can, uh, there are a couple bolts all along the inside so we'll hit those and the fender should come right off we'll disconnect the light that's pretty easy don't have to worry too much about wiring because we've done that before So we're going to start by wire wheeling one of these just to see about how big it is. You can buy uh, special bits for this, but I'm cheap.
photographs are a little hard to film, so I'll just come back when we're all set with that one. All right, we got both sides spot weld and cut. And now it's just last whatever it takes to get it out of here. There. Inside. This side is really hard to see. I think I might have to hit it again with the wire. But yeah. And up here. All down. All down here. Alright. Now you guys can enjoy me start with this stuff. Whatever long it takes. example of why you do not want to rush. I thought I had all the spot welds out and I didn't. So learn from me. Haste makes waste. Take your time. Make sure everything's done. If it doesn't come right away then stop pulling and look again.
about it in a forum. And you're like, yeah, I can do that. It doesn't sound that bad. And then you go to do it and realize it's actually a lot harder than it looked. Yeah, that's me right now. earlier. This side has definitely got some rust damage. So as you can see, we get some real, real boogery welding going on here. And what that means is he actually, they were, when they were repairing, there we go, one of these nuts, they actually welded it in place. So now I've tried to cut it as safely as possible but it looks like this is going to be another hole there for us so we're going to work on that you'll see that's what i'm uh that's going to be what's probably going to give me the most battle on this side we already have pretty much everything else out that needs to be let's see if i flip this around with the inside here let me see these are out it's loose down there so Looks like this boogery weld is going to be our last little holdup. gaping hole here which will be perfect for installing an engine and we will figure out a way to make this uh, easily removable in the future so I do not have to go through something like that again all right thanks for tuning in to ratchet motors see you soon